What is going on guys? Grave here. Today we got an update here on console for the Elder Scrolls Online. This is update 2.16 on PS4, around 398 megabytes. And this is update 1.23.2.0 on Xbox, which is around 846 megabytes. I will link the patch notes for both of these, uh, both platforms, down in the description if you'd like to read over your particular platform kind of in a little bit more detail. The big thing about this, or the two biggest things, the two biggest changes of course, is they supposedly fix the delay occurring when entering or leaving the guild bank. That has been a massive issue here on PS4. Uh, it is very annoying to go into your guild bank and try to select something or do something and you have have a five to 10 second delay in between, you know, being able to do something and taking something out. Also, this has been an issue for me and some other things as well. Like the merchant, I have heard people talking about uh, an issue with the delay between when you're cleaning fish so hopefully that has fixed all of these problems. I'm not sure, of course, maintenance is still going on, so I'm not being able to get on and test this out to make sure it is working properly. But that, of course, and the other thing that was really big that kind of changed in this update was they fixed a calculation error in the Rationer Star effect. As you guys know, uh, before this update, you could use something like Ambrosia or your Alliance boosting you know, uh, foods, and you could get that double XP for a long duration. So if you're using Gourmand and Connoisseur in the provisioning, and you're using the uh, rationer and some of the other things in the green skill tree, you could get almost an hour and 50 minutes out of your XP drinks. Apparently that was not intended, so that has been reverted. Now the only way that you can get an additional time on your you know, XP effects is gonna be Gourmand or Connoisseur. So that green skill tree now will not be affecting that whatsoever. So just keep that in mind, your Ambrosia drinks will not have the length of time that they did uh, before this update. Also, the pre-game music during the startup no longer starts briefly before the uh, uh, the Bethesda animation. Also, they fixed an issue where the Al, uh, the Alid Apex Radiant mounts could not be previewed in the Crown Store if you were inside some homes. They also fixed an issue where the resource nodes would occasionally not appear in the correct model. I'm sure most of you have seen this. A lot of times you go up, for example, to Ancestor Silk. Instead of it being Ancestor Silk, it looked like jute, but when you clicked on it, it was actually Ancestor Silk. It was just a model issue. Apparently that has been fixed. Uh, also, they fixed an issue that would uh, occasionally result in the guild store tax not getting deposited into the guild bank. They fixed a crash that would occur involving some assets and visible and visible effects in the game. Also, uh, they fixed the error where you were getting crashes after you were leaving your champion point menu. I've heard people talk about this. Even people in my guild were discussing this, that once they put points into the tree, whether it be blue, green, or red, as soon as they would confirm it, the game would crash pretty much every time they would do that. So hopefully that has been resolved as well. And they reduced the delay when entering, of course, the or withdrawing from the guild bank. They fixed one issue with the prologue quest, also fixed an issue that would cause some NPCs around South Point to respond too quickly. And also they fixed the, in the rift, in his wake, the, that quest will no longer spawn into odd spots. Apparently that has been kind of an issue within the rift. Now that has been fixed as well. Also combat, they uh, fixed an issue that some uh, parts of the champion stars would not display properly in some cases uh, from what you have picked in, of course, your champion tree. Also information about online players from friends or guild list now shows correctly. Uh, if you own a guild or you're in a guild, I'm sure most of you have noticed lately, uh, if somebody goes offline and they've been offline for like more than five or 10 minutes, it will show they've been offline for like 600 months which is kind of annoying if you are a guild owner and you have a full guild, you're trying maybe to remove members that have not played in a long time. You really didn't know who has been on when, you know, kind of, or who had been on as of late or who hasn't been on in a long time because it was showing everyone once they went offline, it was showing everyone had been offline for like five to 600 plus months. So that has been fixed. Hopefully also uh, fixed an issue that could cause an inventory to not display properly when quickly switching between it and another screen. And they also fixed an issue that prevented scrolling the list of offerings in a trade window. That's pretty much it for the update, guys. Like I said, it will be linked down in the description, the Xbox and the PlayStation patch notes if you would like to read over them for yourself. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Hopefully when maintenance is over, we can get in and test all this stuff out, make sure everything is still working properly. Because as we know, sometimes when uh, things get changed in the game. Sometimes it don't always it doesn't always work correctly or like it was intended. Sometimes it may affect other things. So we'll kind of have to just wait and see once maintenance is finished. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on so you know when everything goes live here on the channel. 
and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky, the website, along with the 5% discount code you can use at checkout is linked in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.